to holler, give it to God. Oh my God. Give it to him, two or nine. Yes. yes. I'll pick it back up. Yes. My God. What you got in your hand, my God. Use what you got. Yes. My God, every time we need to use what we have is right now. Amen. Amen. Right now, use what we have. Amen. Amen. I like what Pastor Man said a few weeks ago. We are, we are, uh, we are part of the diaspora. The Af- we are Afrocentric. We from the motherland of Africa. Yes. So where we come from, all parts of the Caribbean's Western Hemisphere, we will be mindful that we are brothers and sisters. Yes. Haitian, Jamaican, Bahamians, we are from Barbados, Bahamians, Trinidad. We are, we are native people. Amen? Amen. Something along the line, we are dropped off through the Caribbean. So we are brothers and sisters. I checked my name back a few months ago, and I ended up all the way inside England. And I was, my name was in this color, I is black. I said to myself, that's the same master's descendants. White new boys. White new boys. My God. I get thinking, I from. Orange Free Cat Island, the new world come Orange Free Cat Island. I got white new world in Abaco, white new world in Spanish Bells, white new world in Neutral. I say, what is this? What is this? White. I'm telling you. So the same masters, whatever they did back then, that day, you know, whatever the new world, we want to make new balls, new church balls, or new face balls, or whatever. Because so, you know, your name come from something that will connect it back and back to what the same past used to do. You know? So I say, wow. All the way in England, white new balls. Amen? So as, as, as afro Bahamians, Afro-Haitians, Afro-Jamaicans, we must be mindful that we are still one. But we are still one. Amen, somebody? Amen. We must not get divided by political choices, political things that's going on in the country that may try to cloud our thinking yes. and try to ship us off course. Amen. We all felt a little bit disturbed a few weeks ago when we had the, the, the immigration policy passed and they were doing some things to get the people, yeah, yeah, we need to do this. But we be mindful that we are humans, we are still one yes. from different parts of the world. But our color makes us family. Yes. We may speak different language, but our color makes us family. Amen? Amen. The white will always be together, they will always think they are superior over us because what they have indoctrinated us over the years. But us as black people are now politics have played an even greater role in damaging our thinking. Yes. Okay? So nobody had a good feeling a few weeks ago when they were doing these things inside the Bahamas and going around and knocking on doors. There's a, there's a process that they, a protocol that I personally believe that they should have followed. And I, they, I believe to be they have broken, they broken that protocol and so forth. That, because when you start, then following children and so forth like that, you 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 are degrading and, and you are dehumanizing some set of people. Yes. And it's unfortunate that in the Bahamas we have more Haitians than Bahamas, more Haitians than Jamaicans, more Haitians than Chinese, more Haitians than Africans in the Bahamas. So it it, it did appear that they were going after more Haitians. Amen, somebody. But we must be mindful to use what we have to continue to pray that the government, the, that God give the government insight in what it is that they're doing, that God gives some preachers. I uh, think you do have to say no pastors, no, no one came forward and speak or say or whatever it is. His intro to his message, and I, I, when I as I sat there, I think I said, I believe, they made some mild statements. The Christian Council said something, other person said something. The hey, the spokesperson from the Haitian community, they said something. It was really mild. There's nothing demanding to the government, but they want the government to know that they supported them, but to be more humanized about it, follow the protocol of how they do it. But we all we all felt 
that it was a little bit too harsh the way they did it. But we all do agree that the policy must be implemented, must be implemented, should be executed. What we must use will become as saints, believers of the God of God, our Father, our Creator. That they will do due diligence and they will follow a protocol and treat people the way they want to be treated. Amen, somebody? Yes. Amen, somebody? Yes. Because while we look at the Haitians behaving through the law, we go to the United States and we don't come back. We stay over there, so we don't come back. Our pastor expired. We don't come back to renew our pastor. We know once we come to that border, that's it. They can tell you when you go through, you don't come back home because you don't overstay your time. But they more strict with it in the US. They want you two, three, four times. You keep going, staying longer and longer and longer, and then you have stayed a year. So they get you the last time when you go around again. So when you go in, when you come back to so, and you try to go back, you don't ever go back no more. Or they come and look at you when you try to do something and register something. And, and, and you can't even get a job sometimes. And when you get a job, you gotta get a job when they pay you cash. Because if they pay you by check, you have no identification to go and cash that check. Okay? So while the Haitians come to the Bahamas, the Haitians stay to the Bahamas and go to the US. And then we, are, we become immigrants in the US. Although we have ties with the U.S., we then break the law, and guess what? Some who do it are Christians. But for a better way of life, for an opportunity. Amen. So let's be mindful. Let's continue to petition God. Let's continue to pray. Let's continue to show love one to another. Amen. Use what you got. Amen. We got Jesus on the inside. Amen. Working on the outside. Oh, what a joy. Amen? Amen. We have to take up another offering. We haven't done a dollar drive for a very long time. 